Hello and welcome to the special episode of KSP Career with me. Yes, the thing that you're seeing is the Starship SN8. So let's see how did we build it and after that we will be making a flight test. I have unlocked the space components for the Tundra Industries Gojira, which is the Starship prototype. And I figured it's only time and fitting that we actually do the test. I'm actually new with the parts, so I'm just trying to figure out which parts should I be putting there. However, uh, most of it... Okay, this is the engine. Do we have a regular engine shroud? No, we don't. Uh, that looks wrong. That looks like a Finnish starship. Uh, oh, we can select the starship variant. Oh, I see. SN8. There we go. Yes, just as the, you know, water silos can fly. So let's assemble it. Left actuating wing, there we go. That's the rear one. And also variant, SN8, there we go, beautiful. Right actuator wing, SN8, variant, perfect. And then let's take the top one. All right, now let's fix that. Variant toggle, there we go, and the front one. And that actually constitutes the full ship almost. So, with that thing being said, we need to call it, well, this is SN high altitude test one. It's not an SN8, it's not an SN10, it's whatever. So, I'm gonna see the sea level Raptor engines, which we're gonna be placing. However, I don't. I want to place them on the real spot. So uh, yeah, there we go. Three of them, please. Thank you. And then we need the Arvax, the Raptor vacuum engines. Well, those we have seen only test fired once or twice with the real deal. But then again, and not even on the SN8. So if we really wanted, you know, the real thing to be tested, I don't know. Actually, no. This will be an SN8. I'm gonna not be, gonna be putting the Arvax because the Arvax have not been used in the real deal. So I'm actually going to be placing these a little bit, you know, super legs. I'm going to be placing them inside. Come on. Work with me over here. Come on. Okay, I need some I think we should probably put the, you know, radial attachment, something like this. There we go. All right. Yeah, that looks cool. Group actions, steel legs. Thank you for the 10. Do we need, yeah, actuator wings, we're gonna be placing those. Second actuators. There we go. Toggle deploy. So this will be equivalent to the SpaceX high altitude test of an SN8, SN9 and SN15, I think. However, what the result will be, I have no idea. I'm hoping for an SN15 result rather than SN8 or 10, but you never know. So uh, I'm gonna put less fuel because we need the thrust to weight of 1.5, 1.6. And uh, let's do this. Look at it. The beautiful Starship. Finally getting into the super heavy rocket field. And ignition, yeah. I should have probably synchronized these two, however, well, I'm not perfect. Look at the beautiful purple plume of the Raptor engines, there they go upwards. Awesome. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little bit on the sideways note, so we don't land exactly on the pad. And I'm gonna shoot also for the 12 kilometer apoapsis just to check out how it works and that we really do test the belly flop function. So, as we get further upstairs. By the way, guys, at the end of this episode, I will show you a preview of the orbital launch. If you're really curious to see how it looked, I mean, I think. It's a teaser, so you might want to stick to the end to check it out. It's really cool. All right, so that thing being said, I have enabled the flaps and now we have a huge, massive flying water silo dropping on top of the KSC because dropping silos is fun. All right, so our starship is actually, it's actually pretty stable. I'm really enjoying how it looks and when it's going down, it's like, you know, maintaining its attitude. So if we look on the flyby, look at it go. 
yeah really stable really aerodynamic awesome all right there we go beautiful we are at an altitude of 7,000 uh, 7 kilometers so the flopping and everything looks fine and it looks like it is gliding so the lifting body is also doing its part the Raptor engines are actuating as one uh, just for the record, I will probably not be firing up uh, one at or two engines. I'll fire all three. I know that it is a little bit, you know, breaking the simulation, but what can I tell you? I didn't put them on the hotkeys. I'll probably do it when I will be testing the Raptor or, or the Starship newer version. more the, the one that's more like SN20 or 24, so we will see like that one. I think probably SN20. There we go, once again, dropping silos. There it goes, look, oh, even the moon in the background. And it looks like it's going right on top of our astronaut complex, which is actually, yeah, we should enable the Raptors and probably decelerate, killing off that orbital velocity. We're a little bit on the high, we're one kilometer up, which the real Starship clearly wasn't, but we have a lot of, you know, Delta V, so might as well be careful and ooh, I'm thinking we should probably be landing on the VAB helipad. Wouldn't that be a sight? All right, guys, that's the plan. We are landing on top of the VAB in the simulation. Let's see if we can pull it off. Come on, ever so slowly. I mean, from what I've read, the real Starship and the Super Heavy will be have the hover ability, unlike the Falcon 9 that can only do a hover slam, basically. I mean, if it misses the mark for ignition, it will either burn up everything and drop down, or it will, because it doesn't have that fine of throttle settling, not unlike Starship. Starship can throttle and turn the engines on individually, which will be really in interesting to see how it hovers. I mean, we've already seen the legendary flight of SN15 and all the others before it that were basically just, you know, bonkers. Okay, I'm going a little bit up. I should probably reduce my thrust level. There we go. All right, just going ever so carefully, monitoring my surface velocity. I should have probably taken the Kerbal Engineer to see my, you know, vertical velocity. That would be a lot more handy, but let's see. What do you guys think? Will I be able to land this on top of the VAB or not? Come on, bets in the comments. You have roughly, well, let's say half more minute or 20 seconds to put your comments below. We are approaching the helipad. There we go. Carefully. Easy does it. Easy does it. All right. And almost there. Almost there. Yeah, we've got this. Oh, out of fuel. Okay, we don't got this. Okay, well, we landed. Oh, come on, SAS. SAS, come on. Oh. Well, I'll take that as a win. The, the vehicle, it didn't happen, the rapid unplanned disassembly. So, now about that promised orbital launch attempt? Well, let's take a look at it. There we go. A full stack Raptor, uh, a full stack Starship with the Gojira version and uh, with the Super Heavy. Yeah, Super Heavy looks a little bit different. It has huge grid fins to basically stabilize it aerodynamically. And let's see how it did it, 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 it go. Just a little bit preview, so watch back and enjoy. Yep, Autostrut is a wonderful thing, especially if you forget it. Well, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to put the like button and I'll see you in the next one.